Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how I plan my trading week. It all starts on Sunday night, but we're going to dive into the details of the routine and the discipline that I believe needs to take place to be a consistently profitable trader. So you're going to want to stay all the way to the end. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. If you're new here, I am a futures trader. I trade ES and NASDAQ, and I have plenty of videos on all the trading strategies I personally use. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this. I really do appreciate all your support lately. It's, it's meant a lot to me. So thanks so much. Let me know what you want to see more of in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's continue on with the video. Like I said, it all starts on Sunday. So Sunday, I'm, I'm looking at the news. I'm looking at the four hour order blocks or levels because I like to trade off of those levels. Uh, mainly on ES and NASDAQ uh, or some big tech stocks. And then I'm setting alerts. So I, I basically set up the levels. I put an alert on the level. Anytime it touches a level, I get that alert. Um, it's done every Sunday. So that way in the trading week, I can see what's the highest probability and I don't have to be actually looking at the screen when the alert comes on. And this takes about you know one to two, one to two hours typically. I'll usually do back testing on Sundays also. So that could be more than one, one to two hours, but I'm just going through all the names I like to look at and I'm just setting out levels and then I'm just putting alerts for new when news is coming up and I'm going in Evernote and I'm updating the, the, the mantras I might tell myself or I'm updating my trading plan. I might tweak a word here and there. I'm just improving or I'm revising or rereading my trading plan and I'm, I basically do that on Sunday so that way when I wake up Monday, my trading plan is as good as it can be with the current strategies that I'm using and, uh, and I might, you know, have a certain note here to be more patient because of this news coming up. I just do that all on Sunday. And, you know, obviously it can be done in literally 30 minutes, but I usually spend a couple hours on Sunday. Then uh, during the week is my schedule. So I'm really big on schedules. I think that having a schedule as a trader is probably the most important thing you could do. And sticking to that schedule is just having consistency in general is the most important thing to a profitable trader. So during the week, uh, wake up 6 a.m., I go to bed at 10 p.m., and I'll wake up, have coffee, I'll have a hydration, uh, basically get electrolytes in water, get all that, all that down, uh, probably get like a, either a bagel or I just do a fruit. And I do CrossFit in the morning, uh, or I'll do my own work in the morning, but usually CrossFit in the morning. Uh, I'm back just after 8. Uh, you know, it's about an hour workout. Uh, get home, cold shower, 8.30. Uh, eat something while I'm kind of doing the rest of the stuff before market opens. Um, eating usually eggs or with avocado or bagel if I didn't have the bagel earlier, you know, getting some carbs in there and protein and fat. And then I have my uh, awaken meditation that I start, make sure I do it before the market opens, usually about 9 a.m. And then 9.15 is when I'm reading all my stuff out loud and reviewing my levels. So levels, everything was set from Sunday. I'm basically rereading and going through everything that I set on Sunday at 9.15 just before the market opens, I'm reading my training plan out loud, all of the rules I need to follow, my trading strategies, the, the, all the, the little points uh, about my strategies so that way I'm following what I have listed out for my strategies. Uh, and that takes about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and then the market opens. And you know, phone is away, I put my phone uh, in my desk away so I, it's not, I don't grab it. And I'm just watching the charts trade until about 12 o'clock. And then at 12 to two is when I'm, I'm taking a break, right? I'm taking a break because I trade again from two to three if there's any opportunities. So 12 to two, um, usually I'll go ahead and lift weights or I'll do some stretching or I do some mobility stuff or eat. So, you know, the odd day I do two workouts a day. I mean, it's only like twice, twice a week I do like two workouts a day. Most of the day is just one workout. So this kind of gets reversed. Like if I didn't do the CrossFit in the morning at 7 a.m., uh, then I do the workout from 12 to two. And then some days I do the CrossFit at 7 a.m. and the workout at 12 to 2. Uh, but nevertheless, if it's if there's no double workout, uh, then 12 to 2 is like a just a break, having a break. Maybe, maybe I go on social media, maybe I watch a YouTube video and I eat. And then 2 to 3 p.m. is when I'm trading again. Then 3 to 4 p.m. is I'm reviewing the trading day. I'm writing down what I learned, what I could improve, what was good, like what I did well. And because you know, I'm trying to reinforce the things I did well, I'm trying to improve the things I did not do well. And then 4 to 7 p.m. is creating content or back testing. And then 7 p.m. is having dinner. And then, you know, I'm relaxing until bedtime. And bedtime is uh, 10 o'clock. So I'm asleep 10 to 6 and then just repeat. And that's literally my schedule Monday to Friday. Uh, honestly, Monday to Saturday, even Sunday. I you still try to keep the same schedule on Saturday and Sunday, but I uh, will say like, you know, I might sleep in on Saturday and Sunday, get up at 7 a.m. or the odd time, get up at 8 a.m. But I try to keep the schedule as close as possible so that way it's easy to maintain 
the 10 to 6 during the week uh, in terms of sleep schedule. So that is my routine, and, and I am a firm believer of you know, routine and discipline is everything. So the more routine, the, the more disciplined you are in your personal life, the more routine, the more discipline, and more consistent you are, I believe at least, in your trading career. So let me know in the comments down below if you have a routine, is it something similar? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.